Welcome, welcome, welcome to Entrepreneurs and Fuego. Uh, I have the distinct pleasure to have our featured guest. Nobody else here I've introduced as a featured, featured. guest. Featured. You a lot to first, live up to. Let me tell you something. You are the first person that I've introduced, and I have witnesses, that I've introduced as the featured guest. Oh, yay. So yes. I'm the first feature. I was the founding you know member. Because you were the founding member. And you got at the it. top. And so now I am the featured guest. You're the featured guest. You're the only featured guest ever. That's and awesome. Think, and I don't think that, well, there may, there may be several thousands after you, but okay. you're unique. As long as I was the first. Marie Connor, Marigold right. Marketing. How are you? I'm really well. How are you? Dude, you travel more than the Pope travels. Whoa. Yeah, you know, uh, I, I enjoy it. I, you know, I, I can't compare myself to the Pope, uh, really, in any way, I don't think. But um, yeah, I, lo I love to travel. I love to, I love to do business, and I love to travel. Okay, so explain to me how is it that you do business, but you travel all the time. I mean, I see you very, very, very briefly. Sometimes your mail gets delivered here. We send your mail out to whoever you want us to. But you are updating your Facebook and your social media. Hi, I'm in Lyon, France, and I'm here and I'm there. When do you have time to do business? Or how do you do business? It's very, very complex, and it's going to be a very long answer. I have a laptop, <laughs> and I have a cell phone. <laughs> and I have you know, persistence and a good work ethic. Those are the, the four things you need to run a business from the road. So long as you have Wi-Fi, a laptop, not even your laptop, your phone, well, you get your cell phone or everything mm -hmm. else, then that solves everything, right? That's it. And so you're in touch with your clients virtually? Every day. Every day. Yep. I am. I, uh, Skype calls. Um, Skype takes care of online calls. The cell phone, I can get um, free text and data. I mean, it, 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 it amazed me this year to find out how easily it is to, uh, to go uh, to go wireless or to travel and to manage your business on the road. So that we understand uh, how you do this, tell us what you do specifically. Okay, um, so first of all, uh, I don't book any more uh, actual phone meetings. I have people go through an appointment link, which has them set up a meeting, which has them uh, schedule a Skype call. I saw that. That's so freaking cool. So, go ahead, go ahead. so my Skype calls are set up for depending on where I'm traveling. I set up the Skype to take the Skype calls during a time that would be convenient in the states. I actually had clients that were here in the United States who did not know that I was traveling. They were unaware of it <laughs> because I just asked them to book their normal calls through my appointment link, which again was was. Um, set up so that the times were convenient here. So when the Eiffel Tower shows up in the back as a backdrop, they're like... That's part of the deal. It's part of the deal. It's hey, part of the deal. Little. Yeah, the, uh, I, I've learned a lot of tricks. You know, uh, I, before I took up, uh, let's see, in the last year I've been to New Zealand, I've been to Bali, I've been to Bahrain, Holland, France, uh, and, and of course, lovely Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> like to come back here and check in every now and then. Uh, but and Peoria. <laughs> but a couple of interesting lessons that I learned was that um, T-Mobile has a plan that when you, uh, for your normal monthly rate here in the United States, when you land in any of like 100 countries around the world, your cell phone is ready to go with free data and free text. So automatically, I can stay in touch with my clients via, via text and via data. Calls are 20 cents a minute, which is why I use Skype. Um, so I mean, when I make the Skype calls, that's either free, or if I'm, calling, if I'm calling Skype to Skype, it's free. If I'm calling a landline or a cell phone, it's 20 cents a minute. Um, so that was how I was able to keep in, you know, in, in contact via telephone with my clients. And um, yeah, just, uh, you know, as long as I have a, a strong Wi-Fi connection, and there are websites that you can go to, I believe, speedtest.net. If you go to it whenever you arrive oh, yeah. anywhere, yeah, it tells yeah. you how fast yeah. the, the internet connection so, is. So when did you discover that you could uh, do this type of business in such a way that you freed your time? Technology, of course, caught up to that dream because you know certainly this 15 years ago wouldn't have been imaginable I mean imaginable but not practical right I feel extremely lucky to be living in this period right now um, it was actually a, a woman named Natalie Sisson is a, a kind of an online brand she's the suitcase entrepreneur and I actually started by reading some of her articles about how she traveled the world um, and ran an entire six-figure business remotely so I got little tips from her joined her coaching program so then she became kind of a colleague and um, she gave me a lot of guidance over the last year whenever I hit kind of a, a little hurdle or um, had a question either she or her community was available to 
answer questions. And it was it it it, um, it sort of unfolded in stages. The first one was kind of going to New Zealand, and I figured out the phone thing. Um, when I went to Bali, I figured out oh I you know I really can um, run my entire business you know online. And then going to Europe and spending um, two, two to three months solid away from the United States and having two of my biggest income earning months was like, were, were light bulb moments. This, this is actually real. I'm not just playing around with this traveling thing. It's like I can actually have, um, bring in substan substantial income as I'm traveling. Were you always um, an entrepreneur? Were you always a marketer? Uh huh. I've been. Uh, I did. Uh, I've done. I did copywriting for radio for about uh, five years um, at a local radio station here. That I also got national exposure for some of the ads that I wrote. Um, but prior to that, I've always had a marketing mind. I know how to. I know how to polish a message up, a company's message up, to make it completely irresistible to their fans. Um, and I just have a natural knack for whittling down a company's entire story into just you know a couple of sentences. Do you, when you're driving down the road, and whether it's here in the United States or you're in another foreign country, and you see some ad or some message that grabs you, you're like, why didn't I think about this? First of all, I'm rarely driving down a road in another country. <laughs> I'm typically on a bike or walking. Um, and I see messages all the time that can be polished up. I, I, I'm a big believer in attraction rather than promotion, so I don't like walking into a business and saying, hey, you know, let's, let's go over everything that's wrong. Um, I do like um, that when, when I let them know where they may have some opportunities, that they reach out to me and say, hey, you know, what you presented were really good ideas. I try to keep everything on the positive tip than, um, than, rather than uh, just being competitive and being sort of negative. I try, to give, I try to give people, whether I expect them to be a client or hope that they'll be a client, I try to give them the same advice that I would give to someone who's paying for me. I think what makes you unique is the fact that you're, you're kind of a, an amalgam, nice word, uh, of... Uh, amalgam? I'm, I'm all gum. Okay. Look it up. Very good. <laughs> You're the copywriter. Right. <laughs> what do I know, man? I just make up words, man. As I go, <laughs> who cares? You're an advertising agency. You're a media, uh, a social media specialist combined. And so you're able to, uh, to see the content of the message that you're delivering. Mm -hmm. And a lot of what I see right now is that, yeah, you may have a lot of social media experts, if you will, mm -hmm. that know the, the technical intricacies of, 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 of Twitter, of, of Facebook, etc. but they don't have the content that fuels or takes advantage of those social media outlets. Yeah, you, um, we're, in a, we're in a position right now where um, uh, personal brands or company brands need to be providing content first and providing advice first, which is the same thing that I do when I'm out prospecting or at conferences or in other countries and I see where something can be tweaked. I am perfectly happy to give my, my information and my brains and my advice away absolutely for free because you have to, that's how you earn trust. Um, the days of withholding information or you know um, being paranoid of the competition really are over. There is no other, there are a lot of social media um, Specialists, managers, yeah. um, et cetera, out there. There is no other Mari Connor. There is no other Mari Connor who can provide the same. Um, there's no one who can duplicate the advice and the services that I provide. And that goes for there is no other Francisco that's running um, an, an office co-share and doing a podcast like this. Um, there's no one else doing uh, camera work uh, the way that the camera, the way that you're doing the <laughs> camera here. <laughs> We have to remember that, we, that there's there's no one else that can be us, and to really um, take pride and um, feel totally confident in that. You know what, Mari? That that's an entirely shift. I mean, just a very dramatic shift, tectonic shift of how we, as business owners, sometimes perceive ourselves. I mean, we don't want to give anything for free. We want to get paid for the advice that we're giving, et cetera, et cetera. But you're the opposite side. You're like, I'm going to give it for free. Here it is. Here's my knowledge. You can do it yourself, mm -hmm. but if you want my experience, then let's talk. That's exactly, you, you've got it exactly right. 
There, there is no one else that can provide the same advice and from the same angle that I'm providing it. There are a lot of ways to approach um, social. There's a lot of ways to approach any given business. Um, I feel totally confident um, in the um, ideas and the trends that I'm seeing. I, I'm, I, I, I do continuing education constantly about online marketing. I didn't just learn how to put a post up on Facebook and stop there and then go out in the market and say, I can post for you on Facebook. Every single day, <clears throat> even I'm learning something new. And I bring that to my clients and say, guess what? Uh, the entire marketing paradigm online shifted about a week ago. Yep. And here's the direction that we need to take now. Somebody that wants to become a Mary Connor and is looking at this particular <coughs> program right now. And they will, yeah. Because, it's, it's a, because look, what you're doing is unique. I, I have, Honestly, I'm not. Uh, um, how can I say? I'm not pandering to you, but it, it's just I have never seen anybody that has the ability to combine the advertising aspect of it and the social media aspect and the content aspect in such a way, an elegant way, as you have it, as you have done, and also to shift the thinking that it's okay to give away information, it's okay to educate, it's okay to give yourself uh, or or to portray yourself as a mentor, as a teacher. And then, hey, look, if you like what I have over here, yeah, I can charge for it because I've got to make a living as well. And so that's, that's an amazing thing. So what's the best advice that you could give somebody that would want to become like you? Uh, give you, you know, study hard. Get to know your industry inside and out. Um, find out who is in need of your industry, you know, of the services that you provide. Um, Always be open to new information that's coming out about that industry. Um, always, always have your, your fingers on the pulse of what's going on. Be transparent. I'm going to steal this from Gary Vaynerchuk. Hustle. You know, it, it yeah. takes work. It, I, I don't run a six-figure business from the road because I'm you know, sitting back and, and sipping you know, margaritas on the beach with my laptop on my, you know, on my thighs. It's like, I'm out there, even when I'm traveling, I'm hustling, you know, and I'm working very hard and I'm catering to my clients. Um, don't be afraid to give your, your best content first because the hmm. people that are, that are absorbing your content, most people will not execute on what you've told them about. Most people will not, they need you to either uh, go deeper and find out what the strategy would be and the steps would be to take to implement the information that you've given them, or they're gonna hire you to do it. But in my experience, most people don't take advantage of it. But in, in either of those cases um, that, they, that they want to either impl you know, implement the information that I've given them themselves, or, if, um, or if, if they want me to do it for them, I provide you know, coaching services and then I provide done for you services for businesses that are ready to take, make the next move. You're awesome, man. Oh, you you're any, awesome. Do you have no. any fears? Do you have any <laughs> Love you more. <laughs> do you have any fears? Do I have any fears? You're the, like the invincible. That's <laughs> that is like an interesting question. Fears. You know, I I don't I have a, I you know, I'm I'm not religious. I just ha I do have a lot of faith in um, I have a lot of faith in my in my fellow humans. I have a lot of faith in laws of the universe, and um, I just feel like on a daily basis, um, you've got to have faith that things are going to work out well, whether the evidence that's presented to you or not points that direction. You really need to have faith that it's all going to work out well, because ultimately, guess what? It is. You and I are sitting here because of every single experience in our entire lives. Good, bad, indifferent, good decisions, bad decisions have brought us here to have fun sitting around this table um, and have this discussion. Basically, everything's going to turn out okay, so there's no reason to panic. How about them apples? Marry me. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's another conversation. That's deep. It's true. It's, That's it's good. Deep. That's it's great simple stuff. and it's true. Every single every single decision we've ever made has brought it us here right here. now. And That's you and true. I are okay. Our bellies are full. We have a roof over our heads. Business business is going. We're okay. I'm yeah. going to give you a little gift. 
You if, are. This might be a little bit small, but that's forget okay. about that. I can, we're, I can we, go got, we got your time. We know we got your size. Um, these are the virtues of the entrepreneur as we see it: simplicity, discipline, honesty, kindness, and what is, what is it? Simplicity, discipline, humility, kindness, and honesty. That that's gives beautiful. You, that gives you a peaceful soul, and that's Thank part of you. entrepreneurs in fuego. That is really, I love this actually. I love, it kind of looks like my, my own necklace that I got in Bali. You know, it reminds me of that. Yeah, that's really cool. Thank you so you. much. Look, man, I. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I feel like so, so relaxed right now, like we're in Bali. <laughs> we almost kind of are with, uh, <laughs> with the, the, the painting on the walls and. We almost the lost water, the t-shirt there. We almost lost the t-shirt. Mm -hmm. it, it, it was not going to be peaceful at Seoul. It was going to be something else. Yeah, and I thought it was going to be kind of like warm in here. It's perfect. It's, it's perfect. Everything this, is perfect. This moment is perfect. You are the feature guest. Don't forget that. <laughs> That's why everything is perfect. And with that, we're out.